Hey guys, Dabu7, scientist confirming a huge find. They're saying they have found a massive, massive magma chamber that they thought was there before, but now they've proven it inside of Yellowstone. And they say that there's enough molten rock in here to fill up the Grand Canyon 11 times. They use this technique called seismic tomography. And for the first time, they have a complete picture of the volcanic plumbing system, so to speak, in Yellowstone. And for those that don't know, this area straddles the borders of Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. And they're saying that they've known for some time that this large magma chamber under Yellowstone was responsible for the eruptions 2 million years ago, 1.2 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago. And they're saying that this new reservoir that runs down through here is 4.5 times larger than they ever had proof of showing. They say that this doesn't change things, you know, that it's going to blow up, things of that nature. But regardless of what they say, in that sense of it blowing or getting ready to blow, you're really going to have to watch the signs of quakes, magma on the move, so to speak, rumblings. They say that this new area, lower magma reservoir in the Earth's lower crust, is located 12 to 28 miles under Yellowstone with a volume of 11,500 cubic miles. Miles. And that's 11.2 times the volume of the Grand Canyon. So an interesting confirmation, nonetheless, in proving that there is a massive reservoir that runs down here, this huge chamber, 4.5 times larger in the second chamber than they ever could prove before. So it's there, it's massive, they know it, and something to keep an eye on from here because from that, they've talked about it before as well, there being other shafts and reservoirs that feed into it. I'll leave a link with more information. This has been Dabu7.